gang shit. You know what I'm saying? I hit a fucking million followers. They ain't doing it like me. Woo! 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 Boom gang, a lot of gang shit, you know what I'm saying? Boom gang, got the beats on, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and we got to talk about the problem with Bunk and a problem that so many artists face. It's a true artist dilemma in this social media era. So let's touch on Bunk's rise real quick. For those of you who don't know or just, you know, don't know too much about Bunk, Bunk is a rapper right now, but he really became pretty damn famous for coming out with these pranks. And the thing is, what he was doing wasn't completely abnormal. There have been plenty of people who have done videos like that, just doing some ignorant stuff. But Bunk did something genius when he branded it. Bunk Gang. He branded it after himself, his own name, and that really attached something to him. He made a movement out of it. I'm talking about I'll be walking through the mall, little four-year-old kids talking about Bunk Gang, Bunk and I'll be seeing them do something stupid or maybe hitting each other, stealing each other's bags of chips. It's a real thing. Boom Gang is synonymous with doing that type of stuff, like catching a football is synonymous with Randy Moss. And people will say Moss or the younger generation will say Odell. Moss is definitely better. And it has to be noted that early on when he started to catch this traction and this awareness, so many people talking about him. I mean, even Blackie Speaks did a video on him. He said himself that he wanted to be a rapper. He was doing all this to get attention. There's a uh, publicity stunt. So now that, I, now, now that I got up there, now I'm trying to get my music back in. On one side, I know a lot of people are like, yo, this dude has millions of followers from it and all that kind of stuff. That's great. That's amazing. But. There's one problem when it comes to that, and that's the fact that he did it so well that as a rapper, he's having a hard time getting real traction and overshadowing what he already did on this side of the world. Because that's the key to switching lanes. And a lot of artists, I've talked to artists or seen artists who are trying to go from comedian to rapper, or they're trying to go from personality to rapper or a cover artist to singer, whatever it is, it's hard to do that switch when you did something so well at a high level and now when you try to do something else, they can't see you in that role yet. It's like when you see movie characters or TV characters that just, they did do it so well that you're like, I'm seeing you in this other role, but I'm still thinking about this other person. That's all it is, but it can be done. Look at Cardi B. Cardi B was stripper girl. She overcame that with becoming IG personality girl. So then she was IG personality stripper girl and then she was on Love and Hip Hop. This is all in the mix. She was coming out with music and the music was not hitting until she came out with Bodak Yellow, which was pretty much undeniable. Once she had that, it overshadowed any other level of greatness that she had touched on before. And this leads to the solution for so many artists that are going through this issue or comedians or whatever you're doing and trying to switch lanes to. Remember, you're doing one thing here. And if you do something very well and you get attention and you get known for that thing, the solution is number one, creating something in the other lane that's better quality than what you were already doing, but also getting the awareness out for that other thing. So you need product and you need distribution. It all comes back to the same thing. If I'm a rapper, but I want to become a comedian all of a sudden, but I have like a hit album, I need to come out with a comedy special that's so drop dead funny and get so many people to see it and find out about it that they have no choice but to now think of me as that or say he does this just as well or even better than that other thing so they don't have no problem accepting you in that new role. That's an artist dilemma and that's what Boonk is going through right now because his music is not anywhere near up to par to the movement he created with Boonk Gang. It just isn't. I know he gets quite a lot of views on his videos because he's posted on Worldstar constantly, but at the end of the day, his quality of music just is not there. Once again, especially in comparison to the damn near legendary thing he did with the Boonk Gang situation.
take those things in and remember that as an artist it's not necessarily being locked in a lane it's just only about you being able to produce something that's better than what you did before in the other lane other than that, I would love to know you guys' thoughts as always. Don't forget if you're at a stage where you're really focused on building your music brand and you wanna create a foundation and understand the strategies to use to level up and have some leverage, you can look in the link in the description below at the Master Music Branding Guide. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe. Thank you.